Hi there, Stephen, you're watching So Geeked About Movies and I'm back again with another review for the film Glass, which is directed by M. Night Shyamalan, starring Samuel Jackson as Elijah, aka Mr. Glass, Bruce Willis as David Dunn, and James McAvoy back as Kevin. Now, for those who don't know what this film is about or where this film is coming from, it's the third installment that's leading from the film that came out two years ago, which is the film Split, and the film that came out 19 years ago, which was Unbreakable. This film focused on three particular characters who've been locked up in a psychological ward, who've been diagnosed to see if they're actually superheroes or they, it's just all in their head. If one particular character, Mr. Glass, trying to manipulate the whole situation. Now, how does this film actually hold up? Well, let's start with the good. The actual characters themselves, they were superb, especially from James McAvoy and Samuel Jackson. To right at the park, their performance was intriguing all the time, especially from James McAvoy as Kevin, with different personalities. They were great in Split, and they were great in this as well. Samuel Jackson knows how to play a villain. He has the look. He does, in this film, he barely does any talking, but him just sitting there on, a, on his wheelchair, <laughs> was engaging throughout the whole film. The action in this film, this particular scene, beginning the first 20 minutes of the film, that was great to watch. That was so intense. I wanted more of it. I was engaged. I was like really charged up for it. It just set the pace. The, 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 when the film started, the first 40 minutes in, it set the pace. I was like, okay, I'm ready for this. Where's this going? Where's this going? With the characters, with the dialogue, with the setup for all these particular characters all coming into one place. That was superb. The camera work in this was superb. There were some uh, point of view shots was really great. The color correction, the lighting, were superb. They really brought the colors, really vibrant colors in the film. So if you're a film, uh, film lover like I'm, you're gonna appreciate those. Unfortunately, they're bad. There is a lot of bad in this film. The performance from Bruce Willis is probably the weakest part of the film. He really doesn't give his 100% in like the other actors in. And it, it's, I don't blame him at the same time. I don't think he's really written well. Um, it's, there isn't much more for him to do in this film. Some of the story parts of it kind of went on for too long. Some dialogue, just went over my head, didn't care so much for it, and it kept kept explaining, which is the problem I have with M. Night Shyamalan films overall, is he does a lot of explaining, instead of just showing us on the screen. The ending was a letdown, completed, uttered waste of opportunity to take this into, you know, into another consistent story. They really let themselves down on that part of the film. The theme of this film is a superhero theme, whereas the other films had another type of theme in them first before they brought the superhero to the forefront and because the superhero in superhero theme is in this film at the forefront uh, it's not a great superhero film unfortunately so it's pretty let down it's a film i can't recommend to everyone unless you're a fan of m Night Shyamalan's films or you did like split and you did look unbreakable but if you really really love those films especially unbreakable um you probably be let down by this movie there so it's probably not worth seeing the cinema wait for it to come on netflix or on tv I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Great performances, but let down by a really terrible story and a really bad ending. So have you seen the film? Have you seen the previous films that split Unbreakable? Are you gonna see this one? Let me know in the comments. And remember to like, share, and remember to stay blessed. Stay geeked.